Hi guys, Smart here. Welcome. Today we're going to be doing a bit more of an advanced rope grommet. It is nice looking and somewhat practical. For me, it was a bit of a challenge and the sense of accomplishment that you get from tying one is quite substantial. To demonstrate the technique, I'm going to be using a metal ring which is about 2 inches in diameter as well as two pieces of paracord. This is paracord 550 and each piece is about 4 feet long. We begin tying with the first of our cords. Secure it onto your surface either by taping or pinning it down. Then do an odd number of wrapper rounds around your ring. So one two three, four, and five. Reaching our standing end, we travel under it like this. So a total of five wrapper rounds spread evenly apart. Continue with your working end, traveling in between the wrapper round of our first pass. So in between here, 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 and here. And you can see that the working end and standing end meet up. So I'm going to secure the working end as well. Essentially, these two ends are a single strand. So this is our setup. We're now going to grab our second cord and do the hard part. You can begin the work with your second cord anywhere in your ring. Again, secure the short end into place. Grab the working end. Start a sequence of under, then over. So this over here is going to be on the top of our ring. Then continue under, over at the bottom, under, again, over at the top. Continue under, over at the bottom, under, over at the top, reaching our standing end. Simply continue. So this is over at the top, then under, over at the bottom, under,
again over at the top, under over at the bottom under over at the top then again under over at the bottom under and over when you reach the standing end of your second chord using your working end this is what you should have so you can see that the standing end is traveling under here, while the working end wants to continue over. This is correct. So we simply continue with our second pass, going parallel to our standing end and doing the opposite. Now just to make things a bit easier, I'm going to tape up these two ends together here so that I can move the rank around. The standing end goes under, working end over. Then at the next chord, the standing end goes over, working end goes under. Continue the same way all around our ring. When you reach the standing end again, place the working end next to the standing one. When you work in the working end, 
all the way back to the standing and we have effectively tied our knot. Now we are going to work our two working hands into the knot, doubling it up. So let's start with our second chord. The working end now simply follows the standing end. Parallel to it, doing what it does. After doing your second chord and the two ends meet up, do the same thing with your first chord. So again, the working end is going to follow the standing end all through the knot. After working on your first chord as well, with the two ends reaching the same spot, all there's left to do is to tighten up your knot. You start at the standing end, going through the entire knot, running slack into the working end. Do the same tightening process with both of your cords and you are done. When done, trim and melt the ends.
So guys, this concludes our tutorial on a bit more of an advanced rope grommet. I would like to sincerely thank you for joining me today and I hope to see you in my future videos as well.